love the feather. Okay, Clint, Dr. Pia had you and Gina focus on physical touch for your assignment. Let's see how that went. Love the feather. Okay. Okay. Device one. Don't I'm gonna do it in the fire. same. I'm gonna do it in the same <laughs> order. Let's oh, go for yeah. it. Yeah. That one's gonna end up actually beating out the feather, I think. Okay. Okay. Who knew a hairbrush would do that? Yeah. I like it. Yeah. This isn't as awkward as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Interesting. So are there any baby sparks? Did you feel anything during this exercise? There's a lot of reluctancy and hesitancy, but we did it, and I think it, it did help. Good. Yeah. Well, Clint, if you could have handpicked an item for this assignment, what would you have picked? Oh, God. Um... Maybe some massage gel. Oh. Yeah. So like, actually use the hand. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. Like, there was an object in between you guys. Yeah. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. It's, um, you know, kind of like in E.T. where everybody's got to walk around in the spacesuits and stuff. <laughs> and you don't want to contaminate the environment. <laughs> you got to do it through objects. You got to have a little bit of massage gel in your assignment. I mean, we... You got pulled, ropes? Too. Yeah, we pulled out everything in the box. Okay. We even had, like, hot wax, and we're, like, dripping the hot wax on each other. Okay. So y'all have made up, apparently. I mean, we explored the, the box. We what had, else y'all explored the box? We, we mm-hmm, there was some edible um, panties in there. Did you wear the panties? No, I definitely did what not. What flavor? It was, like, strawberry, I believe. Ooh, okay. Who yeah. wore the panties? We just held them in the air. <laughs> the, the air did. We held them up, and we were like, oh, what is this? You know, put them in front of just to see what it looks like. Put it on you. Okay. So, Chris, what do you think of Clint and Gina? I think they're taking baby steps. They're getting there. I think they're open to letting things grow and get where it needs to be, but they're not, like, pushing it. Because you don't want to push each other outside the comfort zone and and then get to a point where they both just shut down. So I think they're taking the proper steps. It's not like they just said, absolutely not, we're not doing this. Like, they're good sports about it. They went through it, and you can see they grew a little bit from that. Okay, okay. Well, Clint, hypothetically, if this activity sparked something in Gina and she was down to get physical, would you? You know, it's interesting because we, we had a couple of these conversations with Gina's friends, and they're like, you guys should just have sex. Like, just Just, just get do it out. It. Just, just do it. Even though you guys don't find each other attractive, like, just do it, and maybe you'll just... Be like, oh my God, that was the best sex I've ever had. And uh, so, I mean, not to say like the thought hadn't crossed my mind okay. like, at this point, because we're married is like, maybe, maybe, but mm-hmm. uh, ultimately, as to this date, no. So there's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Come find out every Wednesday, 8, right, 7 Central. There you go. Well, the viewers are certainly interested in the topic of physical intimacy. John from Redondo Beach, California says, Eris wasn't the only guy who hooked up with someone right before he got engaged. Clint did too. This must be the longest he's gone without getting any action. <laughs> What you got to say about that? Uh, it's definitely not the longest. It was probably a year, maybe a year and a half. Okay. I went through a stint of just, like, recouping and recovering from, from a relationship that was very scarring and damaging to me. So mm. it was a girlfriend that I had. We decided to separate because she was going to graduate school, right? We were just like, okay, well, this isn't going to work out because you're going to move to another state. And, like, let's just go ahead and, like, call it quits. Well, then the show came, and then all of a sudden, like, we started, like, just seeing each other, just Oh, physical. this show came. So this is recent we're talking. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we just started, like, seeing each other, and we had a great sexual relationship. Great, like, everything was pretty good in that relationship. But we broke up, and then, so, yeah, we... We had at it a couple times. No judgment. We just trying to see what's the longest you've gone. So what did you learn about Gina after doing this exercise with her? Uh, I learned that, you know, she's open to at least trying to see if there, we can open up that physical bucket. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. She, she could be crazy freak. You never know. I don't know. Yeah, it's usually the quiet ones, isn't it?